Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome to the Irony of Gaming. And we're back at it again with Counterside Tutorial Part 6. Now, if you haven't um, taken a look at Part 5, I urge you to take a look at Part 5. There was a lot of things that was explained and a lot of examples that was happening. And this, is, this was basically talking about you know show talking about and showing you the most efficient way to level up your units and as you can see right here that I'm already a level 33 and um, yeah it's it's pretty crazy on how much rewards the game gives you when you when you're choosing the right areas to farm and whatnot so what this video is going to be here is that again gonna walk it through with you guys and we're gonna try and complete as many missions as we can and to reach that episode 5 and to get our free awaken I've um this this video may be a little bit shorter than the last few videos that was coming out because um, at this point at this point now we can um, I can just start trying to you know tackle all the challenge like tackle the challenges that the game was is going to throw at us within these uh, episodes okay let's see so we do get more Eternium for signing in for our daily missions weeklies alright nice we got 20k right now let's see And as you can see, <clears throat> as you can see that, uh, you know, we're signing in and that we're on this next day here. Remember, guys, continue to keep signing in. You're going to get a whole bunch of great stuff here. Okay, so we got the company establishment because we're a new player. So we're also getting extra things so look at that 1000 quarts can't wait to get those soon and we get another free unit game's very very generous <laughs> it, it definitely makes sure that we make it, it definitely makes sure that we have everything that we need to progress through the game at a certain point oh look the world map look at that so we ended up completing that Look at that, level two. Both of them. And we were lucky enough to get the materials too. Okay, so we'll continue using these. Now, what you probably wonder is like, okay, so how do you know what to really get? What what um you know which ones to choose from? Because these always change every single time, right? So what I usually would go for is usually for what your account needs at that time. Honestly, things like this, these, this is obsolete. This is completely obsolete. Why? Because you guys have already seen what happened in part five. You can get a huge amount of these already, of these uh, level one appraisals. So this is completely useless. You don't need it. What I would rather, what, I would prefer is usually the four hour and the eight hours because usually they give you some pretty good things here. This will have importance eventually. <clears throat> and um, it, it would be nice to stock up on these. However, this is also a good thing to have as well, the tuning binaries. So we're gonna attempt to get the tuning binaries. Now the tuning binaries is something that's going to be used for your gear eventually. This is going to be used to change the stats on there and I will show you that eventually once we get to that point. Oh nice and since we leveled up we're leveling up the branch. Now with the branch being leveled up we now have access to more facilities. This is the type of facility that I want. It generates the 90 raid. So now, when the next time we complete this, we're going to have access to generate a level 90 raid. And this is going to be one of the things that you're going to be actively doing. Because this is going to give you your tier 6 and tier 7 raid gear. And this, these are the gears that you're going to use 
for your um you know for your journey and finishing the rest of the content that's available so far and there's a lot of content in this game <laughs> <coughs> okay so let's see what else do we want to do a chance of a dive appearing eventually I will get this This is a nice one too, a disturbance. So basically this increases, to my understanding, I believe that this this basically happens to, it, it causes a more mid, like more disturbances to arrive, like basically the raids. And this is to ensure that. So yeah, high class. So basically what happens is that sometimes the raid varies, but if you get something like this, this is going to bring it up to its highest level. Dispatch missions appearing on the list. Yep. All right, so I'm going to get this and I'm going to, let's see, do I, I wanna see, do I level this up? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll level this up, I'll do it. Now you gotta be extremely careful because this is quite expensive as, as, as you just saw, it was like what, 100K on the first one? or yeah, probably like 100k and then the other one it's like 250k so be mindful of that be careful make sure you have you know disposable credits <laughs> and honestly i probably shouldn't be even spending anything on the upgrades yet until i've upgraded my units first because that would make a lot more sense so now this is also kind of like a, you know, an obsolete thing too. Only because it, you know, we, we you can already see we get in a whole bunch of other things with it from other missions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this one instead. As you see here, we're going to level this up. It's only 20k and then we're going to make sure that we have the raids activated here. Because that's going to be important. And let's see, um, it was this one, right? And then we, did we do this one? Oh yeah, right. It, it's still level one. Okay. Yeah, that settles it so far. <clears throat> oh, now this here, this is a simulation training permit. Now now and then you're gonna get something like this and this also can appear within um the the world map as well this can also appear as a possibility to get if you ever see any of these always choose that option to get this and don't use it immediately these are these are the type of things that you save up for when for when you really need to use it you know you can save it for a rainy day you know so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to acquire this. And as you can see, this is going to show up here. So what this does is you can turn this into any one of the permit training simulations. So let's say if you ran out and you're like, you know what, I wanna have a few more. Let me, let me farm it a little bit more. Then these are the tickets that you can use. And once you use it, they'll give you an option to choose between, between the three. But it's always nice to just keep this, you know, just keep stacking up on these just in case when you really, really need it. And what I'm going to do now is I haven't been now, as you can see, I haven't been using the unit EXP. And like I said before, guys, you can use this. You can use this at, you know, it's up to you on when you want to use this. But for me, I'm not going to use this right now. Going to save it. <clears throat> And I'm just gonna show you how to do this, how to you know effectively level up your units without that extra buff. Okay, let's see. So we're gonna complete some more stuff. Got achievements. Okay. So now I'm, I'm debating whether I should. I, I probably I'm probably gonna get a few more level 100s. If I can attempt, I'm going to attempt to do that. But I think 
that it, it'll be a lot better if I attempt to do this instead because it's gonna give me more weapons and I'm gonna need that so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep it at about uh, I'll do 40 instead because I want to get through the story as well okay awesome man yes you can see we're, we're doing other missions and they're still giving us some exp appraisals kind of crazy <clears throat> but we're getting you know some nice gear then what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna try and attempt to beat this because we are going to need to get the APT cores Okay, let's see. So, Yang. I don't think I have enough for another 100. Yeah, I don't. <clears throat> I'm not even going to attempt that. So, what I am going to do is do this instead. I'm going to use those. I'm going to use that extra 8,000. I'm going to go back here. Okay, we'll do about 38. Nice. Okay, and... Okay, let's see if I can... Get her up to at least 90. I don't think I can get to a hundred yet. Yeah, I can't get to a hundred yet. So let's lower this down a little bit more. Okay, and as you can see, it's starting to rise up now. Now it's beginning as you rise up in level, now it's starting to get a bit more expensive. So now it's going to happen to about a million just to get to level 90. Gonna save this a little bit and there we go level 90 at least so 1.2 that's 1.2 million so this is why i was telling you guys you know pay attention to your credits make sure it you know it's it's um it's at a good spending level because <laughs> you don't want to run out right now especially when you're starting out Okay, so we're getting some more missions, we're getting more credits, getting more achievements, and there's, there's loads of achievements in this game. So they're going to be giving you a whole bunch of materials and, and you know a lot of things that you could definitely use. And as you can see here, we're going to start completing our dailies. We're going to add 100k credits. This is fine, you could do this because credits is really not much of a problem in this game. You, you know, you can... You gain credits almost in everything that you're doing. You can easily get into 100k back. Now, this is what I was saying. So you see how it says like deliver 10 AT, uh, APT cores? You don't want to do any of this. You don't want to do any of these missions that require that. So instead, reset it. As is. And let's see. So ownerless business cards. Do I have any of these? No. Okay, so this is a perfect time to do this now. Now, what these are, the ownerless business cards, the way to acquire these cards is, you, now there are a few missions that you can do to get these cards, but they don't really give you that much. However, what can happen is, actually, hold on, let me see something. Can I get the dorm yet? No, I cannot get the dorm yet. Okay, so there's a little nice little thing to do with the dorm as well. But this is why I was saying too that when you get extra copies of units, make sure that your original that your original copy, make sure you have the original copy that you have, right? And that's locked. And make sure that this is completed. Because when that's completed, now you could just you could uh, basically use these as fodder to get the cards that you want. So what you could do is and even if you don't have it, this is what'll happen, right? So you can just I'll do it again. You could just go to the trash can. 
and it'll select everything that's available here and then what you'll do is you'll select the auto select now the batch dismissal they will automatically highlight the rare and normals now what this do is this is going to only this is only going to del this is only going to burn the normal and the rare un and the rare um, units now you can do these two but I don't really recommend doing that unless you really need to but even if you did do that right guess what there's another option here which is great so the game calculates how many copies you need in order to get the update the tactical update completed so this excludes the growth materials what that means is if you still have a if you still have a unit that isn't completed yet the game will make sure that they that it saves those extra copies so it doesn't so it doesn't you know prevent you from completing your tactical update and then anything excessive will be burned and they will give you the materials so for instance we'll keep it here now if you do this this is going to basically delete um this is going to burn um all of your all of your excessive copies including the ones that could be used to upgrade your tactical update to its fullest so that's why you want to make sure this is always highlighted so as you can see when i do that look what happens you see but now you see how i have amy here it's not using any of the copies because it knows it knows that i'm um it knows that I still have, uh, you know, more tactical update that needs to happen. But as you can see here, this has been being used. See, I have a whole bunch of copies of this, and it's only using it's only using the excessive amount. Now, there is something else that you could do, right? And so there's. There's going to be an update where, actually, there's going to be an update where they're going to change something, right? So they're going to change something where, where it has something to do with the rearm system. And let me see if I'm, if this is available for me yet. No, I have to clear episode five. Okay, so no, it's it's no worries. It's really no problem. We can cross that bridge when we get there. So yeah, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to Yeah, so I'm going to do this, going to burn a few, and now we're gonna get so basically 28 extra units that were being burned. And we're gonna get some money out of it. Sometimes we'll get some APT cores if we do if we, you know, burn the SR unit. And as you can see here, I'm, I'm getting 83 black tickets. Well, not black tickets, uh black cards the owner list cards so now I have this the business cards so now not only will it just lower my possessions down but also too now I have more room to get more units and to farm more now this is what you can do too you can always do this as well and you can always increase it up up to as many times as you want be mindful though this will use up your quartz and to get even 50 you would need a thousand so I mean in this case it's up to you I leave that completely up to you on how much you need or not but if you can be efficient if you could be as efficient if, and just keep it at 200 then more power to you and go for it um but know that you know it things can get a little bit more difficult especially if you're going to start rolling more and this going to add up more and because you're getting all these tickets these free um you know selectors the number will pile up and also the number will also pile up when you're doing missions because they will give you free um rare and normal units that you can burn which then contributes more to the owner list business cards so this will fill up pretty quickly so in my case here, I'm just going to do, 
I'm going to do 250. Why? Because as you guys saw with the logins, it's going to give us another 1,000. So me spending this is pretty much I'm going to be making it back again. So you could think of this as a free 250. Now, the game also offers you to watch uh, free advertisements and it'll increase it for you. So I, I think like each day or so, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly on it, but I know that it will replenish after a certain, after a certain amount of time. But right now, 250 is enough for me. Okay, so now let's uh, let's start tackling this content. Okay, so it says five, so let's do this. So I'll do this, and remember, guys, when we sign in, let's do the simulations every single day. So now, because we completed this one, guess what? We could just skip it. And we immediately got the materials we needed. And then we'll and then eventually we'll work our way up to getting it higher. And look at that, level 34. And I think it was like level 35 we needed to unlock another branch, right? Let's check it out. Yep, level 35. No problem. Okay, so we're going to the mission section again. And we'll collect our materials and free currency. <clears throat> now, with the anniversary, as we're doing the content, trying to clear it, trying to get to episode 5, we're going to be also trying to attempt to clear this content as well because we want our free awaken. <laughs> so 30 supplies. So as you keep playing the game, it's just it just gets easier and easier. Now, some of these we don't have access to right now. This is why, because because of this time during the anniversary, we're going to we're going to be speeding this up. So we're going to speed this up and try to unlock all the all the locked content so that we can have all of this available so then by the time the third week arrives we can pretty much just complete everything that we need to complete so yeah let's um let's do this let's let, let's hurt let's see if we can just get through this um episode five Okay, so we're on like act three, right? Yeah, act three, episode two. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to use Shifuyu right here. Then I can start giving people gear now. Finally. <laughs> okay, oh, soldiers. Yeah, we're definitely not. Oh, well, let's do this first. Um. So now they are so much more stronger. Now at this point right now, that you know, there's certain gears that work better for specific units, but at right now we're just you know we're this is a new account, so we're just put, putting on whatever arm whatever armor and weapons that we can just so we can increase their stats and they can survive a lot longer on the battlefield. Um, yeah, let's get this done. Got soldier gear. Oh, nice. We got... Oh, you know what? We can... Um, let's see. Yeah, we might as well use that just so we can get the buff, the stat buff. So we, so what happens is because we have two of these, now we have a twenty percent of defense. 
I mean, soldier units, you know, they 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 still take a lot of damage and anyways, but at you know, at this early stage in the game, we should be okay. Okay, let's see. Do I have any more to enhance? So so when you're starting, so as we're starting it and we're, you know, progressing on there, remember rank up Yang first. She has great skills and this is going to benefit you greatly. So this is the first person that we're going to get uh you know get all of their limit breaks first <clears throat> but uh yeah let's do this and again guys i'm skipping the content because i don't you know i don't want it i'm not going to spoil anything for you guys you know i want you guys to you know read the story for yourselves now also too you can skip these and you can go you can easily go back to these to these missions and you can reread the story if anything you know if you guys are completely like you know in a rush to complete the anniversary stuff so you want to just skip through all of this then you are, you can do that and then you can always go back to the to the uh, missions and read the stories and any and, and the event missions too the um the event missions that you usually see that the game give that the you know the game usually comes out with um you don't really have to worry about that either because it's going to end up in the substreams so you all so you're always going to have an opportunity to do those to do those missions Tommy awesome guy hilarious too in this in this game So we got a lot of got a lot of love, high levels here. So we're we are going to pretty much breeze through this until maybe we get to episode four or maybe five. That's when the game starts to get challenging on certain parts, and then we'll you know we'll we'll figure something out. But as you can see, we're like breezing through this easy. And this, this is like, this is pretty much like the third day that we're attempting all of this. Oh man, this like the story on in this game is just in my humble opinion it's pretty amazing. Like I I'm just tempted to you know to someday just go back to reading the story again from like start to finish again well not really finished because you know we we got a whole bunch more episodes later on hey what's up guys so sorry about this but the uh so the game ended up crashing and at least what about 25 percent of the content has been lost because it got corrupted through the data um but that's okay what so basically what's gonna happen is that if it was only once like about maybe two specific parts that we didn't end up um you know that didn't end up getting saved because it got corrupted so i'll just explain it again to you guys so basically what i was saying is that when you unlock the dorm system the dorm system is something i wanted to talk about and basically what it is is that it's a way for you to you know do a little bit of fun customizations for your buildings and stuff and also too it's a way of making new friends when in the game so basically you know sending out friend requests and whatnot now the thing is is what you can do is the the company dinner the company dinner is pretty interesting too because this starts to replenish up to three each day and what will happen is every time you use these it gives you some free materials uh, well free intel now also too what's important is the interact section when you go here so each day you want to go into here and you want to use this as the um 
well you want to use this as the send all business cards and what will happen is it'll send all the business cards to the random to the random people's you know random people's units who ended up visiting here this happens each day it's always going to be a different you know a different person each time and what happens is anybody that's in this room here you just send your business card out to them and you know sometimes they'll accept the friend request and sometimes they won't now what you can do too is you can go into the partner section and you can go here to register a partner and you just you know add some people here now it's very important to acquire some friends here in the game you know whether it's like you know friend your friends from real life or you know friends here because they play a very crucial role into your progression of your account why it's because as depending on how um you know as many friends as you have will determine as many well as many friends as you have is also as many raid missions that you can get because you can do the you could do your um you know basically your friends raids so you can start tackling those raids and killing those raids for your friends and you'll get the rewards and they will also get the full rewards too as if they have also participated in it uh participated in there and vice versa so they can help you out on your raids as well and they can kill the raids for you as well so i'll explain a little bit more on that once we start to get our first raid um, also, too, there was one other important thing that, you know, it didn't get saved in that in the last video. But what's important is you want to go into operations and go into the substream. Oh, wait, it looks like the game is telling me something now. Oh, the challenge mode. Okay, so we unlocked the challenge mode. Okay, well, parts of it. But um, substream. So we'll go into the substream and you want to go to counter case. Now, counter case basically it's giving you more information on the specific units that you know that ends up getting one um not every unit it has a counter case only specific ones but this is why it's also important to increase you know the units level the their level because when you max it out you'll unlock all of this and it also costs intel now one thing you need to know is let's say so yang was a level 90 right so now look at what happens you unlock these and you you know you do the you know the intel the intel story and after you finish that intel story you get these materials and look at this there's three three blue tickets and you can use these as a way to increase you know to to contribute more to the pity amount which is 150 so you can end up leveling up your units and you can get a lot of these blue tickets and all, of course there's only one time reward for each unit but that's a lot and that can you know help you get the units that you personally want in case you know in case of you know things going wrong but you'll be able to get that pity because it'll guarantee you that unit so it's nice to do these and also too they give you some quartz as well which is a pretty awesome thing but yeah that that's basically what i wanted to that was basically the two important th the really important things that i wanted to tell you guys about and okay so let's go to the mainstream and let's unlock this uh act three Yeah, it, it was pretty crazy though. Like we, like the game had crashed, and after that, what happened was that um, what is it? The OBS ended up um, like, well, not crashing, but freezing, and then it only saved only like you know like half of the content, and then the rest of the and like that. I guess like the twenty five percent was lost on that. So I guess like we had like 75% of the content and then like, yeah, 25% was gone. <laughs> but as you can see, we're pretty like we're, we're pretty far into the episodes and pretty much nothing has really changed. We pretty much have we're, we're pretty much just steamrolled through the whole entire game. Well, not the entire game, but 
you know, through the episodes and the acts. We're just like steamrolling it. And the one thing that I did do though was. Okay, so we're getting some more materials. Oh, nice! We did Act Three already. You know what? We, we, you know, we'll, we'll do a few more. We'll do a few more. But yeah, what I was saying too is that we, um, you can always use like, you know, if, you can always get away with like, you know, as you're progressing through the episodes, you can use the, you could get, replace your other units with, you know, weaker ones and have them piggyback off of the episodes EXP just to level them up a little bit. So yeah, let's progress through this one real fast. And uh, yeah, we'll see how far we can go with this. But as you can see, we're like crushing it right now. And as you can see, our level 100 Awaken is just, you know, pretty much crushing everything. <laughs> Easy. Oh, also one thing too. Um, now, the reason why I was saying too, why you want to, you know, send the, um, you know, the business cards and get partners on there, because at times there's going to be missions that they do include into the game where you do need to send all business cards two times from the dorm so you can only do this once a day so that's why it's very important to have some friends into the game you know send some friend requests out and acquire some friends because there are missions that are locked you know behind you know behind that stuff so you want to definitely make sure you do that and we yeah we unlock some dives too and um for beat in episode two, we ended up unlocking the dive feature, which I will explain later on. They give you some pretty good stuff, some pretty good materials, and it's kind of like an end game type thing, because like episode five pretty much is like end game after you beat it. But yeah, we we, we could touch base more on that later on. Where's uh mainstream? Okay, so yeah, let's continue to progress more. We're doing really good progress right now. Action! Hopefully we can get through this Act 3 without crashing, yeah? <laughs> but yeah, this the this, this uh this game's story is is pretty good. I like I like their story and the soundtrack is awesome too and that's mainly what got me to start playing this game. And you know that which you know I just end up sticking with it cuz it was just it's just <laughs> awesome. <laughs> But yeah, if you follow the steps from the from the last few uh, videos, from the last parts of it, you'll be able to easily get through all of this. Bye. 
인류의 의지가 내 뒤를 지키고 있어. 거기까지다. 들어와. 이쯤아 보스, 승리란 일장 충몽처럼 겁없는 법. Recognize this song. Yep. Hyunjang은 지금부터 내게 맡기도록. 회각을 거슬러 지 말자고. 함께라면 함께라면 괜찮아. 몽처럼 겁없는 법. 겐 we're gonna gonna walk this through with you step by step. Oh, nice. Made it to 4. Okay, so I mean if we're doing this this quickly, we might as well just finish the whole episode. Let's do it. I mean, I, th I think we got enough Eternium, too, to do it. I'm <웃음> 오늘은 날씨가 흐리네. Those things, they, they just look weird. <laughs> They're pretty creepy. Giant collapser. Okay, so we're close to the end. Now remember guys, this is pretty much, this pretty much was in three days. This is like the third day, and we're already progressing very fast. So follow, so if you follow these steps, you should be, you should be set. You should be all good. Oh, 
Ah, they're trying to make this a little difficult now. Yeah, see, so the game can get a little crazy sometimes. And that's why it was very important for us to, to get high levels and also get as much gear as we can because sometimes the bosses can they can be a little tricky with their gimmicks there we go I love this theme song of Bishop. It's awesome. Oh yeah, see, she's damaging the ship now. Let's see if I can beat her before then. Uh oh. Ooh, that was cutting it close. Yeah, you see that that that's gonna be one of the challenging things to do because we have a level one ship and the game is going to try and challenge us and try to get us to level up the ship. So we're de so you we're definitely gonna come across some challenges where they're just gonna ignore the units and then go straight for the ship. Oh, nice. Okay, so we got four unlocked. All right, so let's see. What does the VP want us to do? Boss, ready to recruit operators. What do you mean? I really don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm not fond of that. Well, I guess it's not too much really a big deal because we could always get more, but... Right, operators. Insured recruit. Hmm? Oh yeah, that's right. I think we you get this as a new player. Forgot about that. How do we get? What, what do we get? How do we unlock that? Will not appear again after the recruitment. Two days. What is this? Recruitment employee level 100. Limit break level 3. Skill to max. Oh, that's what you'll get. Wait a minute. Is this one of those... Um, Let me see. Yeah, that's what it is. You have to buy it. Never mind. No, thank you. Because this is a free-to-play account. Besides, we have, besides, it's not to worry, guys, because we have, like, a huge amount of, uh, what is it, um, the SSR selections, the select, uh, selection tickets, so we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. We just got to unlock it, and we're good. Okay, so we did unlock the episode four. Okay, so we did unlock that. And as you can see, the situation got a little hairy from there. So now this is where things will start to get a little challenging only because, you know, we haven't upgraded the ship. 
and there's going to be some units that are going to attempt to try and destroy the ship. So what I'm going to try and do is try to get the DPS up there so we can kill them fast enough so they can't reach the ship. And let's see, so I'm going to spend the rest of my Eternium for the day, but I'm going to put it through weapons because we're going to need more weapons. However... I really want to get this one done on time. Let's see if I can get them to level 80. Yeah, that's, that's good. It's always, that's always nice to do that. And then we can replace this unit, put Chinatsu, and we'll put in... You know what? I'm, I'm going to keep Arius. We'll, we'll, we'll keep her. And then we'll put the rest of it in to this unit. Cause she's definitely gonna come in handy. Do we have any more? Yes, we do. Nice. Okay. Oh, nice. Got some more. All right, let's see what happens. We might not beat it in, on time, though, but we could try. Yeah, we're still not fast enough. Well, we were pretty close, though. And that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. But what we, what we will do is we'll spend the rest of our Eternium. Okay. See what missions we have. Okay, we've got the achievements and we got a we got more blue tickets. Alright. Oh yeah, we gotta complete our dailies too. Which we did. Look at that. Easy. And then we get some more materials from that. Um, but yeah. So this will be it for this part. Um, you know. So uh, we're gonna get, we're gonna start continuing the rest of it in the next part. And hopefully we'll, we can we can possibly maybe get episode five done with the level one ship. Um, this is it's definitely it's definitely gonna be a lot tougher on there, but we'll figure something out. <laughs> But yeah, you know, so you guys now know, um, you know, some of the functions of the world map and how important that is going to be and also how important the partner system is going to be. And also, you know, whatever the feature, whatever features is in there, 
and this is a nice way for you to get you know a small amount of intel which is going to be important and the counter cases where you can get a lot of material a lot of good materials from the counter cases but you just got to level up your units up to level 100 the whichever ones is available for that counter case now i know you saw the ones that were blacked out the ones that were blacked out is because we don't have that unit right now but once we get that unit then you know they'll start to be unlocked on there but yeah if you found this video very useful then you know feel free to leave a like and if you didn't find it useful you know feel free to leave a dislike um but yeah get ready for the next episode stay chill guys and remember don't fear the reaper <laughs>